Hey guys, so this is the closest you've ever been to my face, but uh, I'm filming on my new phone's camera, and if you can hear music, I'm sorry, I don't own anything, don't copyright me, but uh, it's the first day that it's felt like fall in Alabama, so I'm inspired to do a fall I told y'all, it's the first day of fall, my allergies are like, <sighs> but I was inspired to do a fall makeup tutorial because I haven't really done one. I don't know if this is going to be like a tutorial or like a get ready for fall with me. Oh my god, there's so much cat hair all over my brushes. Anyway, let's just jump into this. I, I'm not going to put on any foundation because I don't put on foundation anyway. It's just a thing I don't do anymore. Uh. There it is. Yeah, let's use that. Sorry, not sorry that I don't use foundation every day, but like, I just, it takes a lot of energy to apply a whole thing to this face, you, you dig? So, miss you too babe so we're just gonna jump into this ah. guys I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt today I haven't worn a long sleeve shirt in a long long time my mirror is adjacent to the camera Maybe I should just use this little one. Oh no, I dropped it. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm just applying a really light skin tone color. I'm using the Morphe 35W palette. And I know everyone is like, we can use our Morphe 350 palettes again. And I'm just like, uh, okay. I wanted the 350 palette because I watched people use it on YouTube. And then I misordered and got the 35W because I kind of thought that that's what that was and I was wrong but I don't use many orange shades so I, I'm happier with the color selection in this palette so this is the color I'm using the light color on my eyes and I just put that light color all over my lids really need a new one really really badly but uh, gotta buy other things okay now that that's done we're gonna go in with this little buddy he's a just a really dense pointed brush and uh we're gonna carve out our crease with him. It's not really gonna be a cut crease look. Well, I guess you could call it a messy cut crease, but like, whatever. The other day I tried to do that halo eyeshadow look thing and turned out okay. 
Ah. Like I said, you just carve out your crease with it. It's it's gonna look a little messy, but like I said, you could basically call this a messy cut crease. I tried to do, well I did end up doing a double cut crease the other day. It was kind of hard, but I did it. If you guys would like to see a tutorial on that, just tell me because I have to practice it a little bit more. I'm just going in with the well it's not the lightest but it's the second lightest matte brown shade in the palette this one and I'm just buffing that into my crease I learned from Laura Lee that it's better to use a dense pointed brush like this because it doesn't flop as much. Like it won't shoot out uh, powder on the side of your face. But it also, y'all I'm sorry, I'm disgusting. I feel terrible. But not like... I don't feel terrible as in like sick terrible. I feel like you guys, ha I feel terrible because you guys have to hear me snotting. Okay, now that both of my creases are successfully defined, we're going to go in with this reddish brown shade right beside the other one. I'm sorry that I don't know like names and stuff. I was checking in my big mirror. The darker the color, the lighter your hand needs to go. And this just warms it up and gives it a little bit of a brick red tone. Guys, I'm so excited for Halloween. You can see the... I need a little bit more on this. I hate when they don't match. That drives me insane. Okay, match pretty good, pretty well, whatever. I usually take all of these colors, so I'm going in next with this one. I'm listening to fall music and just like getting in the mood. My cats are wrecking the house. And I like to con concentrate the really dark colors like these two down closer to my eyelid. You see? This probably just looks like blended, or blended orange. Blended brown, I don't know. Okay, there we go. I 
And I'm going to go in with the next one, this one. My secret to getting my messy cut creases to look pretty okay is I only use matte shades. Uh, that may be everybody's secret. I don't know. I don't know if it's even a secret, but like... Okay. I don't think I want to run any black in it. Uh, whatever. I'm going in with the matte black shade. And honey, you need to do like, here's what I do. Where that? Uh, well, that would have been a pretty color. But the matte black shade. I just go boop and then I even tap that off because like it can get scary if you, you, you dig my depth perception is not very good today okay now if your eyelid looks kind of crazy you can clean it up with concealer right here. I am going to put some matte orange on my lid. Let's see, which one do I use? I use this one. It's a very like pumpkin orange, but then it has a little tinge of like a burnt orange. And I just go in and put that all on my finger. Because I haven't found a brush that is able to get it the way I want it yet. And what I first do is I go on the where you would put the lot a liner eyeliner and I pat it in there and then I pat it onto the rest of my lid. Because when I was younger, I would miss that section of my eye when I would do makeup. And it was just like, it was a mess. Alright. Let's do this eye. And then we'll be done. I'll pause and put on my face. And then I'll get it in the sunlight and show you guys. <laughs> Looks a little crazy now because I don't have any eyelashes going, but like... And if you don't like how bright that is, blend it out or something. Okay, I'm going to pause and then I am going to put on the rest of my makeup. Hey guys. So, my lipstick looks a little jacked up, but that's okay. Oh, highlight. This is what it looks like. I put a little bit too much orange. You see, because it transferred. Ugh. Lipstick looks like absolutely gross, but I can fix it. That's the best part about makeup. You can fix it. So I hope you guys enjoyed my first like tutorial, I guess. So I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day and uh, bye.